Chill TV News and our interview with Diane Jansen, former Chilliwack City Councilor, the current Executive Director of Chilliwack Community Services, and getting back in the political fray, she will be the candidate for the BC Conservatives in the provincial riding of Chilliwack for the October 24th provincial election. Diane, on short notice, thank you for coming into Chill TV News. The obvious question right off the, off the start is, why would you get back in the fray? Why would you do this? So I'm very excited to uh, run for the BC Conservatives to provide to Chilliwack the absolute best representation that it can get. Uh, I thought a lot about this, and there are some very compelling issues in one of uh, the fastest growing communities in Canada. Everything from transportation to social issues to affordable housing. Um, and I want to work with the community to address those issues and to give uh, Chilliwack the absolute best representation it can get in Victoria. Just a bit of a background is that uh, the B.C. Liberals uh, did, act, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, just acclaimed both John Martin and Laurie Thronis in the respective ridings. And you were looking for, and this is going back to February at the last time we spoke, you were looking for some type of a, an open dialogue to, to challenge John Martin for the, for the actual Liberal nomination? Uh, yes. Actually, what landed up happening was that there was a promise for an open nomination going back to last November. So uh, this is the situation I faced. I was told that what I should do to get the nomination was to sell memberships. So we doubled the number of memberships. And then uh, last Friday, that promise was reneged on. Uh, and I had to get back to all my members and tell them there would not be an open nomination. And there was a firestorm of calls and uh, membership cancellations to the BC Liberals. Unfortunately, this has happened in a number of writings, which uh, is very unfortunate. So uh, what they have decided to do is to uh, what's called green light, uh, incumbents, uh, even though they've made promises that they would have a democratic uh, process. Before I get to talking about the BC Conservatives, there were some quick rumblings that were you going to run as an independent? Were you going to run under the NDP banner? Was that ever a consideration? Uh, no, it wasn't. And the, the reason is um, uh, independents, generally speaking, uh, they're really hampered when they're in office. Uh, they really don't get to do uh, much of what they want to accomplish. And so that, I ruled that out immediately. Um, the NDP, uh, I just, uh, I, and I have, a, you know, I have some friends who are NDP. Uh, the fact of the matter is uh, I don't like uh, debt and deficits. Uh, that's what we're seeing even pre-COVID from the NDP. And fiscal responsibility to me is uh, absolutely central to what I stand for. So um, I did not line up with the NDP uh, in terms of what they stand for. For those who are trying to keep track of what's happening with the B.C. Conservatives, uh, John Cummins is no longer the leader. It's now Trevor Bullen. Uh, I would assume you've already had a conversation with him. Yes, there was an extensive process where I had to apply to the party. I was interviewed by uh, the party. Uh, they did a whole bunch of checks uh, to make sure that I would be a good candidate. Uh, and I have had extensive discussions with Trevor Bullen. The... Big issues uh, for Chilliwack, and we just received over this past week the coroner numbers, and Chilliwack has now uh, surpassed the 2019 overdose death numbers for uh, illicit drugs. That has got to be a big play uh, in this election, and that in the homeless situation, let alone transportation. Can you address that? Uh, the, the coroner numbers were quite blunt. Absolutely, and I think uh, what has happened with the NDP uh, and they try to use COVID as an excuse, but the fact of the matter is the opioid crisis has been the absolute greatest under the NDP. Uh, they have not addressed the four pillars in terms of prevention, treatment, uh, harm reduction, uh, and enforcement, uh, and this lies at their feet. Uh, and we have to remember that thousands of British Columbians have died from the opioid crisis, uh, and in fact, it's more than car crashes, suicides and murders combined. So uh, three deaths on average every single day. Uh, and uh, the NDP has presided over uh, those kind of results. So uh, we have to do something about that. I'm proposing, along with the BC Conservatives, uh, that we get, get to that four-point plan uh, and actually do something about it because it uh, has cost the lives of thousands of people. And from a compassionate point of view, 
think about the families that remain and uh, the devastation that they deal with uh, the rest of their lives. And we know it doesn't have to be this way. Portugal is an example of a jurisdiction that has actually solved that issue. Uh, and we need a little bit of political will to get this issue settled and de dealt with. Uh, Diane, we will definitely have you and other candidates on uh, quite a few times between now and the October 24th vote. Any final words? Thanks, Don and Chill TV for the opportunity here and thank you for the great job you do for our community. The central message that I have is please vote and Octo on October 24th. And when you do vote and you go into that voting booth, just ask and answer one key question. Who is going to do the best job for you in Victoria? And I can give you my assurance that I will wake up early every day and work right through the night to address the issues that Chilliwack has and to work hard on your behalf. One of the things that I really is a core principle for me is bridge building. And uh, that's what I want to do is to work with others in the Chilliwack way uh, to get things done. So I thank you very much for your consideration. Uh, you're going to see me on Facebook, Twitter, the website. Uh, I encourage you to get a hold of me, uh, talk to me, uh, ask me questions, and uh, we will we'll see you on October 24th.